Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about Megan Markle and Chris Morgan. I had promised not to make a video about Chris Morgan, but for some reasons I've decided to do this one because what he said was so ridiculous. About two days ago, he talked about Megan Markle again, and he vowed to take revenge on her because she try to cancel him. This in itself, it's very stupid because, because Meghan Markle never acknowledged him. She only complained to his boss that by publicly saying that he doesn't believe that she was going through mental health struggle, he was actually discouraging any other person from trying to find help or trying to express themselves or find help with their own issues. So now he's no longer on TV, right? On public TV, but he has just signed with Murdoch. Murdoch is a billionaire who owns the biggest private communication company, which regroups radios, TVs, and newspapers and stuff. And Murdoch is extremely anti Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So now he's signed up with them and he's going to have a column in one of the biggest tabloids in the UK. And He's going to have a TV segment on one of the TVs of that same company, that same billionaire, that's going to be shown in the UK, the US, and the United States. So basically, he was saying that he's going to spend his time talking about Meghan Markle. He knows that apart from Meghan Markle, no one is interested. He used to get people's attention when he was talking about Trump, but Trump is no longer the president of the United States, so he's not going to be focusing on him. The only person he can talk about and that will get him eyeballs is Meghan Markle. And he said that he'll be talking about her, dishing stuff about her. And I don't know what exactly, because there's nothing that's coming out from the Sussexes. They haven't given any other major interview. They haven't spoken about anything else. So everything that he'll be talking about, it's past news. So I don't think that people would be interested in, in talking about Meghan Markle if it's something that happened about two years ago, or one year ago, or six months ago, because people have moved on, and the Sussexes as well. And anyway, the part that actually made me want to do a video about that, it's when he said that Meghan Markle fancied him. I was like, really? You look like a fat blob and you're unhealthy. You're ugly. You're not good looking at all. And I'm not saying that lightly because I don't like to attack people on their physical appearance. But this guy is really bugging me. Anywho, just to say that I don't think that Meghan Markle would have been interested in him, a small presenter in a tiny island. No, she would not not have been interested in him. He's not good looking. He has nothing going on for him. And he's a mean person anyway. Anywho, just to say that this made me laugh when I heard him saying that Big and Markle fancied him. And I was like, wow, really? He just said that to justify his bizarre obsession of Big and Markle. I don't know what happened that night when she went to meet him, but something was definitely off with him and I understand why she never wanted to see him again. Anywho, let me know what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.